Look, I've almost matched this beer bottle. Um, second last night in Canada, and we are heading out to our 10 course Mexican degustation. Pretty excited about that, so to celebrate, uh, having some modern time City of the Dead beer. It's a uh, it's a stout with cold brew coffee added, but the cold brew coffee has been aged in bourbon barrels. And if you're not future Trent watching this, um, modern times do a lot of their own coffee, which is really good. And they, no, you're all right, the mouth coming out. Don't mind me. And um, they, yeah, they bourbon barrel aged this one, so I'm really interested to see what it's like. So it's two row dark chocolate, Munich pale chocolate, Midnight Wheat, Flake Barley, C170, and Carapils. Um, house roasted, blah, blah, blah. Yep, bourbon barrel aged coffee. Um, this mind bending process imbues our coffee with the incredible flavour and aroma of freshly emptied bourbon barren. Bourbon, blah, 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 blah. Am I drunk? Bourbon barrel, uh, which carries over magnificently in this rich chewy stout. Uh, doesn't actually say seven, seven and a half percent. And doesn't say how many I'll be you. I don't think. Well, it does, 30. Well, yeah, there you go. I say this one's a bit longer than normal already, but. Okay, so it was very black, tan head. Oh, we also went walking today up in uh, Mount Seymour, went hiking. It was awesome, really cool. On the nose, uh, milk chocolate, like really rich chocolate. Um, Light coffee notes. Oh, I wouldn't say there's much bourbon character there. Maybe sort of a hint, but it's mostly chocolate. It smells good. Ooh. In the mouth. It's a lovely creamy export step. Um, seven and a half percent alcohol is well hidden. It's um, sweet, syrupy um, chocolate malt up front. Um, there's a hint of coffee there. It's this beer is like 12 months old. I think I picked it up in Vernon I think modern times really ought to kick the the well, Distribution to the butt. So May 2017 this was born May 24 actually um, We're now August 2018. So it's got over a year on it. Um, it's still held up really really well. There's no real signs of oxidation It's a um, moderately sweet malt um, Firm bitterness I think it said it's only 30, it tastes a bit higher than that. Um, and it's, yeah, it's moderately dry finish. That roastiness uh, helps dry it out a little bit. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's mostly chocolate, like milk chocolate sort of character. And the coffee is very faint, if you ask me. There's not much note at all from the bourbon. Um, final gravity was 1018, that explains why it's um, got the sweetness there. Uh, but the bitterness and the roast helps dry it out. I should say it's a um, moderately sweet finish, but yeah, it really does dry out through the finish. Uh, yeah, I think it's very, very good. Uh, I wouldn't have picked the coffee any more than your standard sort of a roast character from a stout. Uh, but yeah, it's a very enjoyable beer. And here's to many more this evening.